Доброго вечора, ми з України. Hello, my name is Alina Latvunyev. I am a reporter in Ukrainian Freedom News, and recently I've spoken to Karina Kumar, a jazz musician who performed in LV Cafe at a charitable jazz concert for raising the money for Ukrainian military forces and to help refugees. We met after the performance and I had the chance to interview her. So we had a great conversation in Ukrainian and here I introduce you our talk in English translation. Enjoy! So what is your name and where are you from? My name is Karina. I come from the city of Malnitsky, but I have been studying here at the conservatory for the third year, so I've been living in Lviv for the third year too. How often did you play before the war? Not really very often, approximately every Wednesday at a jam session and literally before the war I started doing my concerts. I managed to do literally four, three concerts. When you started playing during the war, is it your first performance? If public, yes. In fact, it was very difficult to dare emotionally. You feel overwhelmed by emotions and you are not sure if you are ready to open up. Uh, when you sing, you seem to open your soul to the listener and you understand that now your feeling is missing. And I understand that well, you have to somehow overpower yourself because music somehow helps to survive it. all this negativity, you somehow step over it, take it away. So this is the first public appearance in front of people. I was very afraid. Adapting there to the microphone, to your feelings on stage, and then you just you you dive into the music. Any musicians who play so well accompany you. As Yaroslav, the trumpeter, says, uh, musicians are just paving the way for you so that you could uh, play and sing in a flow. So I was really feel this extremely warm. I would even say not just joyful emotions, but warm. Such warmth I feel now, which I'm still ready to share. fact, from, from the first days of the war, none of us said a little. Everyone tried to get involved in something to help our country, our soldiers. For example, I volunteer with refugees. Uh, they come, stay with us at the location, we help them with housing, with going abroad, at least just feed them, give water. And the guys helping warehouses. Uh, for example, with packing, loading and unloading of humanities. Have you thought about the mission of musicians now to keep people in shape during the war so that they could not feel so anxious? I did, but here are a few aspects I came across. Not many people are ready yet. Not everyone has yet moved away from this emotional load. But it seems to me that this is already a beginning. I see among my colleagues who are beginning to record songs and if not to record them to prepare some works, to lift the mood, to lift the spirits, so that people understand. Of course there is a war. It's awful. It's one of the worst things that could happen to you in your life. But life doesn't stop there. As for music and war, it began to be perceived quite differently. About two weeks after the start of the war, I started listening to the album of Clifford Brown, 
trumpeter and drummer Mikey. And I started to hear it in a completely different way. The very perception as a musician plays with a delivery, with an emotional message. So I would say probably sharper perception, how subtle you began to perceive this. And just something else that I listened to it in the first year of university and now in the third. It's just, it's like I had listened to different albums and different artists. Are you worried about your future because you stayed in Lviv? I'm not worried at all. I mean, I did not have the desire to go abroad even if all those circumstances. Uh, that is, we were told that there is an opportunity to study in Poland during the war. It's cool. It would be interesting because it's a completely different community. Uh, well, completely different teachers who can teach you something new. But to live here just like that, no. For some reason, I'm not. I'm more than sure that we will win soon. The victory will be ours, it's 100%. The question is how soon? I hope in fact soon, <laughs> but there is no fear for the future. Everything is being built, life will be restored, especially thanks God we are in live our, our calm now and having a very cool community. Uh, the guys came from Dnieper, from Kiev, very cool as people and musicians. So on the contrary, the war will just end, our life will begin here especially jazz life. They will not go to, to their home at once, but will stay here. They'll develop jazz music, jazz art. So no fear on the contrary. I'm already waiting for, the, for when we win so that we could continue to develop and send our message to people.